What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, the civil. What's happened there? That was, that was messed that one up big time. It's because I don't know. It's because I've got a new microphone. I think I was too focused. To, is it working? It looks like it's working. Hopefully the sound's okay. Um, better than the headset mic I've been using for the last two weeks. It should actually be better than the original one as well. At least, hopefully, anyway. Um, <laughs> for, based on the price tag, anyway, it should be a little bit better. But yeah, we got a new one, which is exciting. But you know, it might be. Might need to tinker with a few things, but this is the first time I'm using it, so hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, welcome back to the Civilization V Old World AI only game. It is turn 450. Um, I, I'm sadly probably going to have to stay in this sort of map mode to show you what's going on. I'm not even sure this will work when we go over sort of Poland and those areas that we saw crash before. Um, I'm going to try and work out what's changed. Just from up here, France with a lot more cities, a similar amount of land, but they've squeezed in a lot more cities. Poland still has this area. I think these are all the same. I believe the Champa may have taken this off Japan, but maybe not. I can't remember. I, it seems like that. That sounds like Jap Japan, maybe, but maybe not as well. Persia's under a bit of attack here from Rhodesia, but nothing. Oh, France kicked England out. Um, oh, England's dead, actually. I've just seen on the mini-map. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. This region looks mostly the same. Morocco's also squeezed in a few more cities. Benin is looking mostly the same. Yeah, I think this is all the same as it was. Right, coming over this way to Africa. It looks mostly the same. Harappa actually squeezed in a little island here. Maybe there's some more islands. But yeah, I think all the civs are still alive. Egypt appears to be nuking the Songhai, but with not much actual success. I think they've grabbed maybe three cities since this begun. These three, maybe? I'm not sure. I feel like Egypt had maybe one of these, but I don't know. This is... Did Egypt, I think Egypt had this one and the Songhai had the other two. I can't even remember now, but either way, Egypt has has improved. But yeah, I mean, it's been over 50 turns. They've not really progressed too much against the Songhai. Then we've got Morocco here, who look exactly the same. France, I'm hoping it's not going to crash now just because of this map mode. Uh, France, yeah, they have just killed England by the look of it. Poland actually also helped in that. Is Germany still alive? Greece still in Vienna. Spain still in Cologne. Poland with all of their units starting to actually in, in French territory now. Yeah, Poland is... Um, they might be winning. I, I doubt it, but they could be. Russia with a lot of units as well as Attila. Lots of planes as well for those guys. Um, then there's a Persian city, India. This is all much the same. Siam, I think the same. I think maybe they hadn't conquered this city last time around, but now they have. Again, probably squeezed in some more settlers. Yeah, Oceania looks mostly the same as well, to be honest. Harappa's here now, were they here all the time? Maybe some of these cities have slightly changed hands, I can't exactly remember. But Ethiopia had most of this before. And then it was some stragglers around this, Is that's originally Poland, so that's not changed. Korea, Ethiopia and India, currently splitting Hawaii. Korea's still here, it looks like up here is exactly the same actually. Mongolia, yeah, I don't think anything has changed here. Uh, China, I mean, I didn't even realize these, this China had these cities. I mean, this one is re 24 population on that tile is very impressive. But, um, yeah, not too much happened. We will do one more one more run for Sunday night. We'll go to turn 500. So keep an eye out for that. But we'll have a quick look to see how the info addicts are looking. <clears throat> Score-wise, it still has France and Morocco leading the way. Poland there is steadily climbing in third. I think that might be Russia. No, that's got to be Egypt right in fourth. Yep. I don't know who the other yellow line is. Siam, I'm guessing, now up to fifth. And then, yeah, I, I can't decipher between those lines. That's way too difficult. But here we go. World rankings. Population. Morocco currently leading the way with 103 million people. And it's 71 million for France. 59 for Poland. 43 for Siam. And then 40 million for Rhodesia. Biggest crop yield is almost the same, except some switching positions in that top five. France leads the way here with all of that land in um, North America. That makes loads of sense. Morocco in second, Poland third, then Siam and Rhodesia. Production, France leads the way ahead of Morocco, then Poland, Rhodesia and Siam. Economy, France leads the way, then Morocco, Poland, Siam and Korea. Land area, who's the biggest? France, Morocco, Poland, Siam, Ethiopia. Okay, France with 8.7 million square kilometers. They actually have more land in North America now than in Europe, which is crazy. Morocco also at 6.41 million, although on the minimap they look a lot smaller. They do have a lot of random cities dotted around the map. A lot of sea tiles as well, which do count. Poland then at 4 million, Siam at 3.8. 
Ethiopia are also up there, which is probably surprising, but they do have half of Australia. Military manpower, Poland well out in front. I don't know how they're sustaining this, but there you go. <laughs> the Huns then still in second, which is crazy as well. France, that Songhai actually have more troops than Egypt. No wonder that war's so hectic. Siam then sit in fifth. Social policies, Poland and Morocco tied on 40. Poland's leaders dropped there. Um, France on 39. Egypt 36. Siam 34. Happiness, they're actually all managing. No one, oh no, Nigeria's struggling. Oh yeah, they are still around. That sucks. Technologies then, Who, who's at the bottom? The Garamat, they're dead. The Ottomans are dead. The Jar are dead. Who's the worst that's alive here? Uh, Sweden is still alive at 54. I see them. That is very bad. 54. Uh, the Netherlands are still around with 56. Japan has still got one city with 57. Greece is still around 58. Spain on 60. Congo, Mercuria, Nigeria and Burundi on 62. 63 for Persia and England. Although England is no longer around. Actually, yeah, no, everything's dead for England. And there's a bit of a jump. Tang China on 67. Mongolia 68. 69 for the Champa. 70 for Benin and Mao's China, we're getting up there now, 71 Rhodesia, 72 Harappa, 73 for Germany, 74 for India, they're, they're almost all like one above each other, that's very weird, 75 for Ethiopia, 76 then for the Huns and the Songhai as we break into the top 10, 78 for Siam, 79 for Russia and 6 sieves that have gone the whole way to 80 are Poland, Morocco, Egypt, Mali, France and Korea. That does look like it stayed in order, which is nice. Although they only just got there, so maybe that's why. Net gold. Who, yeah, most of them losing astronomical amounts of money. Poland. Okay, never mind. That's why. I'm not sure what happens when the treasuries do hit zero. I know units get deleted. Poland's will actually be there in about seven turns. But they probably do just have enough production. All the buildings are finished. They're probably just rebuilding the units straight away, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, we'll go back up here. Cities then. Well, what do we got? One left still for Greece. There's 31 sieves still alive. Greece, Spain, Sweden, Austria, the Netherlands, and Mercuria. All with one. They're all clinging on. Just. Two then for Japan and Persia. Oh yeah, Japan has one in California. Uh, three then for Mao's China. Am I getting that right? Yes, I'm not skipping anyone. Mao's China, Congo, Mali, Burundi, Champa, and Nigeria. Four for Tang China, Mongolia, Harappa. Five for Russia on their own. Seven, no one on six, just straight up to seven for the Benin and the Huns. Eight for India, nine for Germany and Korea, ten Ethiopia, eleven Songhai, thirteen Egypt and Rhodesia, twenty for Poland, twenty-one for Siam, twenty-nine for Morocco, and fifty-four for France now. That's crazy. Science output, France well out in front, then it's Morocco, Egypt, Poland and Korea. Culture output again, France, then Morocco, Siam, Poland, Egypt. Wonders, Egypt still has 11, Morocco is 6, Mali is still around with 5, France and Poland and Korea all have 4, Treasury, so Egypt still has a ton of money, they were one of the few civs I think still making a small amount, but still making some, Faith we won't look at, because you know, I think it's to do with, um, a lot of it is just civs that don't have a religion conquering cities that give have religious buildings and then not spending any of the faith, I think that's sometimes what it comes down to, so we don't, obviously, matter too much we'll look at the religions france has influenced 33 civs which means they would have won a cultural victory by now just ahead of morocco on 32 as well um there you go great because there's only 31 left so obviously that's even more than there is civs left great works france on 29 uh, 30 sorry morocco on 29 another close race 18 for siam 16 for korea and poland trade routes is Three-way tie, France, Harappa, and Mali. All have obviously done something probably to give them a bonus one. Most of the others have eight. Obviously, some of the bad civs will have less. Tourism, France again leading the way ahead of Morocco, Poland, Siam, and Egypt. It does look like they're maybe the top five. But there we go. That will be it for today. As I said, we will... Oh, no, we just got to do the religion. But we will have one more. We'll look in. We'll go to 500 just to see if anything crazy happens. Hinduism's had a bit of a reform it's gone from about 20 to 40 cities but yeah islam now in 156 cities judaism and protestantism are both now gone shinto's on the edge eastern orthodoxy is now below 10 taoism still around 20 but yeah 156 now for islam very well done mali there probably should be some bonus points maybe we'll look at that for next time but that'll be it for today. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.